Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So today we're going to begin our series of bags, boxes, and luggage. Now that also encompasses little trunks, but I want to begin with showing you how to make little pieces of luggage for your dollhouse family with fabric, without any type of structure, without any type of frame, without anything but just the fabric. Now you will need some really firm fabric and just a few things to put on the outside to embellish it, to make it look interesting. Now these little bags I made quite a long time ago, so my style and technique um, has gotten a little bit more refined, but the general concept is the same. So I'll definitely show you how to make these. Now in this series, I also want to show you how to make luggage with a structure, building your luggage around a frame. So this is one of the examples of that. This was made with some really heavy fabric. I think I might update it a little bit, but I guess I want to keep it looking like this because it just reminds me of my early days making luggage, one of my beginning or early pieces. So I will show you that. And in this series, I'll also be showing you how I made these lovely little purses with the chain. So we're going to have a lot of fun dolls. So these are examples of the types of things that I'm going to make in this series. The items won't be exact because I made these from materials that I had at that time. So some of the things I have available now are going to be different. And different is good because no one wants to look at a sea of same. Now I want to take a moment to say a special thank you today. I received a generous super thanks from Sandra Barrick. Sandra, I want you to know how much I appreciate you. I appreciate you for being here. I just want you to know that the, your super thanks go towards me buying supplies that help me to keep Little Gretchen's workshop up and running. It really touches me that somebody's enjoying my art so much that they want to support me financially. So I'm going to stop talking now so that I don't cry. So let's go ahead and get on with these bags and boxes. So here are a couple other small boxes that I will show you the concepts of making. This is something I made several years ago. It has a hinge on the back and it's like got a little secret compartment, a little drawer, and then you can pop it open from the front to tuck things in. It's sort of like a little jewelry box with a secret compartment. Now, all of these items are things I'm going to show you how to make, or at least the basic concept of how to make them. And I'll go into each one of them individually more when we're working on that particular project. Now, I do want to show you this one really quick. This was one of the first little trunks that I ever made. And even though I added a lot of embellishments, it's a little bit crude. But again, I always keep it around because it was one of my first pieces. Now keep in mind, dolls, as we go through this series, I want you dolls to realize that what you make or create is going to look different because you have different materials, you have different fabrics, and each artist has their own personal print. So I want you to be open and free to create or modify or change things, anything that we make, make it uniquely yours. Oh my, I've opened someone's luggage and they have their clothes inside. Let me know in the comments, dolls, if you'd be interested in seeing how to make the little folded clothing. There's so many ideas rolling through my head when I think of bags, boxes, and luggage. Because there's so many things and other accessories that you can make to go along with a series like this. So I really have to stay focused. So let's get on with our project. So I did mention in the beginning that I was going to make the bags with no frame, but I do want to show you how I made these items with a frame. Now dolls, when I say frame, I just mean a binder clip, a simple everyday binder clip. Now the size binder clip you use would depend on what you're actually trying to make. I generally like to use the large binder clip for the actual luggage and the smaller ones for little totes or purses. This beautiful piece of fabric was given to be by my lovely Aunt Audrey. She sews and she always has lovely, lovely scraps that always come in handy for so many of my projects. I actually use the same fabric to reupholster a chair in my original dollhouse. I will leave a link in the description if you haven't seen that video. Uh, I actually am using the same technique that I use 
for that little bag I showed you in the introduction. But it's going to have a totally different look because of the difference in the fabric. So dolls, you can use the same technique to make an array of different bags and luggage with this particular concept. The fabric and the embellishments make all the difference. Now dolls, I pull out all the stops when it comes to making luggage. I use hardware from furniture. So dolls, keep in mind, I've been doing these type of things for years, so I save everything because to me, almost everything looks like it can be used in my miniatures. <laughs> I always think one or two little pieces can make an amazing detail. Now I'll be using this Beacon 3-in-1 and also Fabric Tech. They're by the same company. They're very similar. I love them because they grab really fast, especially when I'm working with the fabric. Because to me, dolls, it's nothing worse than trying to glue something with fabric and it keeps popping up. And I actually put it all around because I want this to be a very close fitting fabric to this particular bag. Now I do use my little needle tool to help me tuck the fabric into the side. Okay, that's actually a chopstick. Now you can tuck it or you can fold it really neatly. This is just my way, dolls. I just kind of shove it in so it'll stick to the glue first, and then I smooth it up the sides. And after I smooth it up the sides the way I want it, I punch it in on the other end. Now tuck it as neat as possible, but don't worry. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now in this first stage, you'll kind of feel like you're wrestling with it a little bit because you'll be working quickly, but you want to be very deliberate in your process. I'm just putting the glue in as needed and pressing the fabric down on top of the glue with my little needle tool. And this particular glue is really nice because it's forgiving and it gives you opportunity to get your fabric set where you want it before it really sets up and dries. But it catches so that you don't have to keep holding it while you're working. Just pressing down those little tucks so that the bag will look like it's closed on the end. Now dolls, although this is a simple project, if you've never done this before, be kind to yourself while you're learning. It takes a few tries sometime when you're learning to do something new. And even if this is something you've done before, but you haven't done it in a long time, don't be hard on yourself because even if you're gifted, you still have to practice. Now here I'm just showing you, I added a little extra glue in those little corners and those tucks and just coming slowly up the sides to adjust it so I can close it at the top. And you're kind of going to begin to see the shape or the form of what's almost going to look like a small change purse. Wow, you hardly hear that word anymore, change purse. I guess I'm really starting to show my age. But we used to have little pinch purses that had little buttons at the top to close that were specifically in our purses just for change for when you ran into things that cost less than a dollar. <laughs> so now that we've got the basic shape and the sides done, it's time for what I consider the fun part, tucking the top. Now dolls, I did trim off a little bit of the top so I wouldn't have so much to tuck. Now I really like to use this needle tool. Make sure that if you are using the needle tool, you hold it firmly enough that you don't break it or pop and always watch out for your fingers because there's tension between the two sides of the binder clip and you wouldn't want to poke yourself or hurt your fingers in this process. Now after that top part gets tucked in nice and neat you can really see the shape of the bag that we're creating and depending on if you tucked it too much you can pull a little bit up because it's not glued it's actually being held in by the tension of the two sides of the clips. Now, if you want glue in between there, you can, but again, the tension is taut enough to hold it. And see how nice and neat the sides look? And it's firm on the bottom. Now, when it gets to this stage, dolls, you can do whatever you like. Now, I did add a couple little buttons to the bottom to be the feet of my bag. And I played around with some of the gems and jewels and some pieces of suede cording to be my handles. And again, you can just tuck them into the tops or if you want to glue them to the outside dolls, it's totally up to you. You can make it as simple or as ornate as you like. Now I will show you how I just tuck in this small piece of suede cording like the kind you use to make jewelry with. I just tucked it in to be the handle of the top of my bag. And that's it.
you have a lovely little piece of luggage. Now, when I say that's it, that just means that the basic structure is together. But I really get excited at this stage because now the fun begins, the embellishments and the decorations. But I just truly believe that all the little details are what make things really interesting to look at. In my mind, this little satin bag looked like it belongs to a lady who likes things that are kind of fancy. So I thought the little gold chain was a nice little addition to it. And I kept looking at it. Even if you're not into all the glitter and sparkles like me, even if you like things kind of simple and streamlined, don't neglect the details. And realize some of those little gold nail studs would make great rivets. Now, I did use some of the planer studs to put at the bottom for the feet, but I thought that little brass one really did look like a button or a clasp on top of that little suede cord. So, dolls, if you've enjoyed this video today, definitely let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. And watch out for part two of Bags, Boxes, and Luggage. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.